Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Wednesday the 6th of November. I'm Kieran Kaur. An investigation's underway into what started a massive blaze in the Kent High Street. Around 60 firefighters were needed to tackle the flames after the fire broke out in a shop in Tenterden. It spread through the roof of Webb's hardware store before damaging Waterstones and Café Rouge. No one was injured. Two men are being hunted after a petrol station in Gravesend was robbed and a man's car stolen in a violent carjacking. Raiders jumped over the counter of the BP garage shop and stole a large amount of cash from the till. After escaping, they then attacked a man who was parking his car before stealing it. Kent's police commissioners revealed a new dedicated centre for rape victims has opened in the county, but it won't be fully functional until after Christmas. Police can only take victims to the Maidstone location before it's fully open for self-referrals. And Barnes pledged to investigate funding for Kent's first 24-hour facility in February after calls from charities. And finally, plans have been unveiled to redevelop a former coalfield site in East Kent, creating a thousand jobs. Hadlow College are behind the £40 million project to create a business park at the old Betty Shanga Colliery near Dover. It will produce green energy as well as be home to an education and eco-visitor centre. Building work could start next spring. There's more local news on KMFM, but that's it from Kent Today.